I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters, and today we're talking about homeowner's insurance. Hi, thank you so much for watching my video blog. I'm Melinda Elmer, and I'm here today with Bart DeLeo of Farmers Insurance. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit, and Bart's going to talk to you a little bit about what is it that uh, you look for in your homeowner's insurance and what is covering it, what is being covered. Because, you know, we get that big fat packet of papers with our homeowner's insurance policy, and I don't think most of us really know what's in there. So, Bart, tell us a little bit more about what our homeowner's insurance actually covers. I'm a little disappointed. You mean to tell me you're not reading my entire insurance policy <laughs> when I send it out to you? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, I'm a little bummed about that. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want to talk about, and we talked about this before, is your home is, in many cases, the most expensive thing you own, and maybe the most expensive thing you'll ever own. And so it's, t uh, it's worth it to take a few minutes to look at what's covered in your home insurance. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to look at just the big things. Uh, we'll cover all the little things. So the basic thing you're covered for is the building. That's the first thing. So you want to make sure that they're using uh, the insurance company you have is using a replacement cost program that has a rough idea of what the replacement cost would be for your insurance, for your home. The thing with California is... In many cases, the land is worth more than the building, so sometimes that's confusing. Sometimes you're paid a million dollars for your property, and the house itself is worth 300000 or 400000 to replace. So keep that in mind. I get calls from other parts of the country uh, for um, a loan, um, uh, a loan mortgage companies, and they say, why is it so much, so little for the home insurance when the property was $2 million, whatever it was? So keep that in mind. So the, the first thing is the building that's covered. Uh, second thing is personal property. Typically, that's 55 to 75 percent of what is on the uh, home building uh, part of your policy. Uh, there are some special limits. So, personal property is anything. If you turn the building upside down, anything that falls out is personal property. Okay. So, you, it could be your furniture, it could be your clothes, it could be your silverware, whatever it is. Now, there are special limits on personal property. Things like guns and furs and jewelry and collectibles. And if you have those things, you want to issue those or cover those separately uh, so that you make sure that you're covered. So, uh, the third thing is loss of use. And we talked about loss of use before in a previous video. And the thing with that is if you are not able to use your home due to a covered claim, uh, fire and water are the most common ones, we'll pay for you to stay somewhere else. This is really a big deal uh, because even if it's, if it's a minor claim, you could be out of the house for a couple months at a time and it could cost you thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. So you want to look at your loss of use. Uh, usually that's 20% of your building amount. Okay. Most cases that's enough. Uh, liability is the other thing that's covered, and that's uh, liability anywhere in the world. Bodily injury, property damage to other parties doesn't just cover you in your house. If it's a homeowner's policy, it follows you around the world. So my best example is if you run somebody's foot over with a shopping cart uh, and damage them, then you'd be covered for that under your bodily injury, property damage. From your home insurance. Good to know. I'm going to back up a little bit on the personal property. Uh, the, the most common things that are covered for personal property are theft, uh, fire, and water damage. There are other coverages as well. Those are the big things. You want to make sure that you're covered for those as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that covers the majority of what you're going to be covered for for a policy. Uh, you want to review the policy with your agent. If you add things to your house, uh, a wing, uh, extra doors, redo the floors, things that are going to change the value of the house, uh, then you want to relook at your insurance and make sure that you have enough coverage to cover the building. Excellent. It's good information there. If you have any other questions about this, you can always reach out to Bart, and you can reach him at? ThatInsuranceGuy.com or ThatInsuranceGuy at Yahoo.com. Excellent. And if you have any real estate questions or referrals for me, you can reach me at 562-316-2915 or Melinda at TheElmerTeam.com. Thanks so much for watching, and please feel free to share with your friends.